G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam and for today's video I'm going to step you through five really cool time-saving features of the Salesforce Marketing Cloud Companion Chrome extension. So let's start off with my number one top feature of the Marketing Cloud Companion and my main reason for building the Companion to begin with and that's the ability to reverse engineer existing builds inside of Salesforce Marketing Cloud. It's quite common when you jump into a really old Marketing Cloud account that there are tens, even hundreds of activities that have been built over the years. Now, unfortunately, some of those builds do not contain up-to-date documentation, so it can be really hard to go back through that information to understand what might have gone wrong, what you have to change if you're trying to upgrade an activity. For example, I could jump into this account and I could see my CAM test automation, I go into the automation and I can see the automation's activities, but I can't really tell what it's doing. And most annoyingly, if I want to go in and have a look at this SQL activity, I have to go in and do the view edit, which of course I can't because my automation is currently live and active. And if this is in production, I probably can't go and pause this automation. So I have to then jump into my activities, into my SQL activities and search for it that way, which can take a lot of precious time. So instead, I can use my Chrome extension, my SFC companion. I can click on it here and I can see my little blue link, which is to open up this automation inside of the companion. Click that link and it launches my automation straight away. I can see here is my contact analysis SQL. I can click on that link and straight away here is my activity, my query activity. It's stored in my private folder. It targets my contact delete that extension. Great. And here is the SQL. And most importantly, I can then quickly navigate through and find the related entities for this SQL. For example, the target DE, it might take me some time to try and find that DE. Or I may have to use other Chrome extensions to try and locate it. Alternatively, I can just click on the blue text and find out straight away it's in my private dev folder. Here is the fields. And if I'm doing some documentation, I can copy that straight away and paste it into my documentation. Or if I'm trying to make a related diagram using the dbdiagram.io, I've got my code straight away ready to use. Now additionally, if I scroll down, I can see that this uh, data extension is the target of just the one activity, the one query. So straight away I can see that this data extension is getting its data from just one location that makes my documentation a lot easier. Now I can step back into my uh, SQL here and see it's not just the target that I want to know about, it's also what's being used in the SQL. There's a few joins and some froms here. I'm picking up my contacts, data extension, my subscribers, my SMS uh, message tracking, and a few other things here too. And it's found my Einstein MC predictive scores and my contact Salesforce data extensions. Now straight away, I might ask myself, well, what are these data extensions? And again, I can click on the related text and find them for myself. Here it is, the Einstein predictive scores in my data extensions folder. And here's that data extension schema only being used in one SQL activity. Great. If I want to check it out for myself though, I can click on that little blue link. It's going to launch Marketing Cloud for me straight into my contact builder. And here is my data extension in Marketing Cloud ready to have a look at with my records as well. And it's not just the SQL activities and the data extensions that you can look at. You can jump into any one of these activities in the automation and see what's going on. For example, my tracking extract, I can click on this link here to open up the tracking extract object. I can see straight away that it is picking up my tracking zip file. It's picking up with this information, with all these fields, and it's being used in two different automations, my cam test, but also in my tracking extract automation. I can click on that one, and here's my tracking extract automation. Perfect. I can also see if it's been used in some file transfers, and yes it is, in my unzip and tracking move transfer activities. I can see for myself the tracking.zip file is being used. I can see how it's been used and where it's been used and so on. So again, to reverse engineer my activities and understand what's going on with this automation, I can use the extension to make my job a lot easier. And the second time-saving feature of the SFMC Companion is the ability to speed up your documentation process. Looking back onto the CAM test automation again, if I was going to try and document some of the activities here, such as my contact delete SSJS, I'd have to pause the automation in order to view and inspect it, which of course I probably can't if it's a production automation. Instead, I could of course go back into my activities and search it that way, but again, it's going to take a lot of time. Instead, I can jump into my Chrome extension, launch the automation for myself, and see straight away my contact delete SSJS. I can click on the activity and straight away here is my code ready to go to document and copy and paste. But most importantly, if I'm trying to document this activity for a future architect or developer, 
it may be useful for them to know it's not just the one automation it's being used in, I'm using this activity in a second automation. So to be aware, if they go and change the code here, it's going to affect two different automations. Again, really useful for documentation to help out the future person looking at this. And it's not just documenting the code that's made a lot faster. I've spent countless hours documenting data extensions in Excel and Word and all kinds of different programs to try and speed up my documentation process. But instead, I can use the Chrome extension here to jump into one of my queries, find a data extension, for example, my sample rows, and straight away, here is all the information that I need. The name, the ID, the location, everything ready to go. And best of all, I have a table formatted fields section here to copy and paste straight into my documentation file. My third favorite time-saving feature of the SFMC Companion is the ability to find any lost asset you've got inside Marketing Cloud. Now there are other tools out there to help you locate various emails and data extensions, but this one does it a bit differently, and I'll show you what I mean. Let's pretend that I've lost my sample rows data extension. Now, of course, I could search by name for sample rows, copy the name, go to my Chrome extension, and click on the magnifying glass to search my assets. There it is there, and I can paste in the name and press enter. And of course, here's my sample rows. That's found my data extension located here in my folder. But let's say it's not actually the data extension name that I'm trying to find. What if I've got some server-side JavaScript I'm using the DE initialize feature and all I have is the external key, this key here. Well, same thing, I can copy that key, go to my Chrome extension and search for the key instead. And sure enough, there's my data extension. So I can find it that way too. You can also locate missing content blocks. For example, let's say I've got my email build here and I'm trying to locate where this original image is from. I can of course go in and do my find replace and try and locate it that way. But if I only have the .png name here, I can again simply copy the name of that .png, go copy, go to my Chrome extension and search for that name as well. And there it is, there's my image. And where's it saved? In my test assets. That's where I put it. I can also search from the URL. So if I have sent this email to myself, and I have the published image link, I can copy that image link. And same thing, go to my Chrome extension and go search and paste the URL. And there it is there another way to find that asset. And speaking of tracking down missing content, you can also use the SFMC Companion to find your lost cloud pages. For example, if you ever logged into a Marketing Cloud account and found multiple preference centers and unsubscribed pages, you're not sure which one's in production, you can quite simply find a recently sent email or send a test one to yourself, click on the unsubscribe link and copy the URL. I get my URL here, copy it, go into my Chrome extension and find based on my URL, and paste, there it is, my sign up form. I can find where it is, it's in my exercises folder. Perfect, I can jump back into my cloud pages, go exercises, and sure enough, there is my sign up form. Easy as that. Not just that, you can also find out the asset information and some other details. Not to mention I'm working on something special here as well. My fourth time saving tip for the SMC companion is the data dependency methods that you can follow. For example, I've got a really mean looking data extension here called Update All Subscribers. Now if I saw this, I'd be pretty concerned. I'm not sure where this data is coming from. But I can straight away find out for myself by loading it up into my SFMC companion. I can jump into the object and sure enough, my data extension here called Update All Subscribers, and here it is. I can see where it's saved, and more importantly, how it's getting populated. Now straight away, there is one query targeting my data extension, so I can reverse engineer it and go back and have a look at that query. And sure enough, it's got the information coming from my contact Salesforce and my subscribers tables. Perfect. So I can now look back at my dependency of that data extension and see how it's been populated. But I can check it for myself and know that my contact Salesforce data extension is coming from one of my main synchronized data extensions. So I know for a fact that the data that I'm going to see inside of my update or subscribers should be coming from my SFDC instance. You can also track your data dependency in the opposite direction. For example, I have yet another SMS journey data extension here. I can find out where the data is being used. I can see this data has been sourced in my SMS journey query. I click on that activity and find out for myself. Yep, it's picking up that data extension and loading it into my mobile connect marketing opt-in data extension. All right, through my SMS journey automation. Okay, I can check out my data extension and sure enough, here are some of those values and I know straight away how these got here. They got here through my query from my data extension. 
And my fifth time-saving feature of the SMC Companion Chrome extension is the ability to navigate through Marketing Cloud's objects in a different interface besides the UI to find things that you won't normally find. For example, here in my data extensions folder, I've got apparently 21 items. But if I copy my data extensions name here, go to my Chrome extension and go search, I can search for data extensions. And of course, I'll find my folder called data extensions. In this folder, I in fact have 31 items. Now I do have my cam test API ZZZ and my journey audience. I of course have here my journey audience and there's my cam test API. But I've also got a few more things. If I scroll down, I'll find out what they are. And if I scroll down, I'll find, well, here we go. We've got push tag, push address, mobile subscription, mobile address. I've got some things you can't normally find in the interface. And straight away, here is that hidden mobile address data view. And I can see for myself, here are the fields ready for me to copy and paste into documentation. And again, they're referenced up as how I'm using them in my current queries and automations. And it's not just the content of those folders that you can search either. You can also search for other folders. For example, the data extensions folder has 35 other sibling folders. I can click on my sibling folder relationship here and find my emails, my templates, my lists, and all the other folders you may recognize from Salesforce Marketing Cloud. I can scroll down and find, for example, my automations folder. I can click into that folder. And of course, I've got three automations in that folder. But that folder has three child folders, my data factory, my public, and my private. In my public folder, apparently I've got 11 automations. Well, I can check it out for myself. Automation Studio, in my public folder, I've got those three folders. And in my public one, I've got 11 items. Great. I can go back to my data extension folder and find some more folders. For example, in my siblings, let's scroll down and we'll find some more content to search for. Let's go content builder. And so my content builder, I've got a few folders. Of course, my code snippets. Worth checking out my code snippets video. In this one, I have six code snippets and here they all are. I can check it out for myself. In my code snippets, I indeed do have six items. So there's five time-saving and hopefully really cool reasons for you to download the SMC companion for Chrome and try it out for yourself. As you try it out, if you have any bugs or problems, make sure you raise it in the feedback section. You click on the Chrome extension here with right click and open up the options section here and you'll find my information. You'll find my SMC companion feedback and bug form. Let me know what you think of it and don't forget to fill out any bugs as well so you can keep improving the Chrome extension. And if you like this video or if you enjoyed using the SMC companion Chrome extension, then please let me know in the comments below and give the video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you're notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.